Hello, talented souls. How are you? Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome. Today is the 5th of the 5th of 2021, which is a 5th. So, major shift. 555. You know, major change coming. And what a best topic to do on a 555. And what a best partner to do this reading on a 555 than my lovely my dear soul sister, Egyptian soul sister, because I think, uh, you know, Kino and I, we met in, <laughs> we were together in Egypt before, my my lovely Kino Tarot. So I'm, we are doing this together, okay? We are trying to combine our, our talents, of course, to combine our talent, to share uh, with you a very in-depth reading, okay, between her reading and my reading, you will find information about what master shift are you manifesting and what are the blessings that will come from this shift. So Kino will answer the first question. I will answer about the blessings that come in with this shift. You can e either watch her first or mine first. Doesn't matter. They will be connected. Uh, I'm sure about that. And I would like to hear from you, you know, about that connection for sure. And uh, if you're coming from Kino, Kino's channel, thank you for being here. And if you are from my channel, please check on Kino's channel uh, because and check on two channels that Kino have. Kino has an, uh, obviously the Tarot channel, which is amazing. She's, uh, I mean, she's totally, totally a star. And of course, the other channel, which is uh, her music channel, she writes and comp uh, com uh, she writes, she sings, she does it all. Okay, she is super talented. Her voice is amazing. For me, it's a joy to be, um, you know, to, you know, to, to be a friend of her and connect with her. And I met Kino, you know, in November, uh, 2019, you know, at that time, you know, she was kind of a starting and I was not even here. And I asked the question to her, shall I start a YouTube channel? <laughs> And she said, of course you should in my, in my reading, no? I said, of course you should start this channel. Okay. From there, I've never stopped. And she was totally, totally right because I find so much joy, so much pleasure on doing this for you. Okay. For me, it's like, um, okay. It's, it's my highlight of the week. <laughs> I love doing this. So thank you, Kino. Thank you, Kino forever for letting me you know, encourage me to do this. And, um, and uh, yes, uh, we always, we always are connected and I'm hope I, we are going to meet personally one day. Uh, she loves London. You know that I'm in Lo well, near London. Uh, she is in Japan, but she's from Canada. I'm from Argentina. So look, I mean, the chances are crazy, but I hope we can, we can meet, uh, we can meet soon. And at that moment, of course, we will share a picture. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here we are. I can talk about her forever. Okay. So we have, this is about you. We have five options. Okay. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you are, uh, you know, also uh, in my channel, please hit the notification bell. Apparently that's the way that we kind of manage this algorithm and this technology to make sure that my content is uh, pushed forward. That will be super, super, super uh, appreciate uh, to do that. If you, if you do that, sorry. And I'm getting very excited because obviously change is excitement for me. For me, change equals opportunity. Okay. And I always, uh, you know, well, I have a lot of five also on my chart anyway. <laughs> okay. Option number one, Celestine is an Esfer. I will have five different tarot decks. So you can choose on the, choose on the, on the description box. Uh, you will have all the tarot decks that you can, you can, you can select by that as well. Uh, option number two, Lapis Lazuli. Option number three is this beautiful stone. Unfortunately, I don't know the name, but it reminds me the sky, you know, some clouds, sunny day. I don't know. That's what reminds me. This one is a leptolite or something like that. I'm really bad with crystals. I will learn more, I promise. But it's a little bit transparent. That's what I like about this. This reminds me to the Mediterranean. Mm? And the last one is the turquoise. Okay, beautiful. So five options for a five theme. Um, three fives of today means 15, which will have 15 cards to answer what blessings are coming after this shift. Okay, so see you in a minute. Thank you so much for watching.
Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen option number one, okay, which is this beautiful, oh my God, this is so pretty. It's pretty, 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 okay? It's like another planet. Okay, yes. This is another planet because you have chosen, you have chosen the, uy, my, my lot of flower. You have chosen this uh, tarot deck, which is the Syrian star seed tarot. So you are, this is a confirmation you're coming from another planet, okay? <laughs> Pleleides, Lemurian, you know, all of those, eh? Star seed, you are in a star seed. This, re, re, this look like a different planet, okay? So you have chosen this one and, um, okay, that's beautiful. These are your Oracle cards. So we are going to put it here. So these two are astrology so we are going to see the blessings a little bit of timing if we can on the blessings this two is the energy that the blessing will unlock in you this two is the destiny what the blessing take you in your destiny the energy of the blessing and the blessing itself so for me these two are talking about the blessing okay and anyway, we have a lot of cars that will all connect, I'm sure about that, and the and the data. Okay. So what blessing will come from this shift? And this is a this is kind of a, you know, I don't know all the all the description, but this is a beautiful. It's called a jo um, a yogic a yogic path. So it's an interpretation of yoga uh, within Oracle, you know what I mean? Within um, spiritual meaning. Okay. Wow. Okay, the blessing. The blessing that is what blessing is coming from this ship. Okay, one blessing that I mean this this car reminds me as a transformation, no? This car also reminds me it's a transformation, but it's a transformation of that is connected to your uh, root chakra. So I'm a, I'm seeing with this car a lot of grounding a lot of material achievement a lot of you know within a full moon is a completion is completing a task completing something that will give you abundance will give you groundness will give you you know will will say uh ground you know your um your root chakra will be feel very safe you know you will feel safe you will feel you know truly with the feet on the ground Okay, that's what I'm getting. And it's a butterfly, it's two people looking at each other, it's the same person. It's like uh, you are able, most of you, some of you is around two jobs or two things that you do. That's what I'm getting as well. But it's about grounding your desires. This is a confirmation. This is like a root chakra, uh, root chakra um, card and you are grounding this blessing. Okay, grounding on the material world, meanings, economical, etc. Wow, more red. Wow, Durga. This is true, this is true. This is root chakra manifestation, okay? Also fire. Uh, fire means burning the old, welcoming the new, okay? So that's three three um, butterflies here. Burning the old, welcoming the new, completing a cycle, a new grounded, grounded cycle, a cycle where you feel really solid with the feet, as I said, on the ground. There is a tiger here, and this is like an entity that we, I will need to read. Of course, there is a lot of third eye here. Look at the eyes here on the top. Again, because you are an star seed, you are a very intuitive person, you come with a lot of gift for intuition, okay? So you are downloading, I'm getting this, you are downloading this into the material world. We have a snake here, yes, transformation, tiger, strength, okay? Multiple hands, because I'm thinking two jobs or even more, you know, like multiple tasking, someone that does a lot of things. It's about grounding a lot of things, a lot of ideas on your mind, a lot of intu intu intuitive hit. And it's about the blessing, it's about manifesting those intuitive hits. Wow, this is powerful. Well, what is not powerful for me? Guys, I love this. You know that. Okay. Let's let's read uh, let's read very Durga one uh, let's start with Durga 105. I want to see if there is any further message. Durga, goddess, goddess of inner strength and protection. Yeah. For me it's grounding. Grounding means like you feel safe, you feel protected, you feel like strong. This transformation, this 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 uh, blessing is that feeling. It's feeling solid, 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 like a rock. 
You are exhibiting great strength in the, in the face of things that good make others, including former versions of yourself, former versions of yourself, crumble. Durga, the warrior goddess, is with you, carrying her bow and arrow, sword, trident, lotus, thunderbolt, golden, and conch. You are embodying her fierce strength and loving protection. You have overcome major harsh hardships and your willpower will continue to leap over any challenge that confronts you. Call upon Durga whenever you need an extra ounce of strength. You're super so I mean, I'm getting solid, strong, with the feet on the ground, ready for everything, but manifesting things. 100% manifesting what you are intuitive uh, pursuing, okay? And uh, Barky, the other yoga, the other 81. This is beautiful, no? It's a beautiful Tarde, but it's impossible to remember the meanings, you know? Devotion, yes. You're devoted to your goals. You're devoted to manifesting your things. I mean, 100%. You have begun walking on the path of devotion. You are devoted to something greater than yourself. Your body, your possessions. Possessions, yes, I'm talking. Grounding your desires. This dedication is to the divine. Now is the time to ask yourself, what does divinity mean to me? When do I feel close to the divine? Path to uh, uh, Bhakti Yoga include devotional mantras, meditations, and praise to the gods and goddess, offering service to those in need, and spending time in nature. The selfness path of Bhakti Yoga takes you to the greatest ecstasies of all, the bliss of devoting to yourself to a spirit. Yeah, look at this. You because you are a okay, you are an star see, you are devoting to your higher self. You have an intuitive intuition that is crazy. The full moon is completion. You are completing, you are grounding, you are manifesting. For me, is this is like um you're ready. You know what I mean? It's like readiness. Readiness and grounding and grounding. Okay? And that's beautiful. That's super beautiful. Because that will propel you forward. That will ignite your passion. That will move you forward. Okay. I talk a lot with those cars. Let's go ahead. <laughs> okay. And blessings. What else we need to know about these blessings? Wow. The blessing is that you are not alone in this path. You are assembling your tribe. The temple plus is a confirmation that, number one, you're going to achieve success. Because for me, this is a temple of recognition. Is number three. Is a is a blessing. Is a you know is being in being in like I remember the Greek times and maybe you have some connection with the Greeks you know, but this reminding Greece and this reminding uh, reminding you being in a like a goddess in a pedestal you know what I mean be recognized and being successful leading assembling people for a for a master for a bigger job you know what I mean assembling people for a bigger job you are manifesting this. Wow, wow, we have a moon here and we have another, you know, we have a planet here, you know what I mean? Like the moon and another planet. Okay. Yes, you're being upgraded. You're being upgraded. This is a very, I mean, you are very spiritual, no? So you are being upgraded and you're balanced the yin and the yang. 22 is a master number. This is a shift. This groundiness, this grounding, this manifesting, this for me, success and achievements in what you do, okay, uh, give you balance, you know, balance between your um, your intuition and your manifesto, and, and your, uh, yeah, yes, between grounding and ambitioning. You see what I mean? Mm? Grounding and ambitioning. And also it's a master number, so you will be a leader here, a leader of this community, a leader with your thought, a leader with your, in a leader for other peoples, okay? You know that you have a bigger mission than yourself. You're manifesting this bigger mission, but this time from a more grounding perspective. Wow. That's what I'm getting like crazy. Okay, what other blessing is coming with this shift? Flexibility, yes, look, we have a tiger here and another tiger here, and this is a bamboo path. Bamboo is, uh, first of all, bamboo is abundance. Bamboo for me is a, is a plant that, uh, I don't know if you know this guy, but he's beautiful. It's a beautiful soul. Okay. It's called, uh, <laughs> it's, what's the name? Uh, Sal. His name is Sal. And it's eat, read, and love. 
I like him, but I cannot follow that much because it's always, you know, about love and, you know, it's not my, <laughs> not my topic so much, but I only watch him because I laugh with him. Okay. But he has a video about the bamboo because he put bamboo everywhere. Bamboos are abundance. If you're flexible enough, and this is green, this is the heart, and this is again red for me, the root chakra. If you're flexible, you are, if you're flexible, if you remain strong, you will manifest this abundance and you will be able to manage multiple things between your, uh, what you love and what you ground, what you love and what you ground. You are ready for this path of abundance. For me, this is kind of, you know, in that flexibility, in that balance, in that balance between yin and yang, Okay, you achieve abundance. It's like how you really manifest what? What? your psychic power or your 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 visions into the world, and you are doing that. Okay, you're fighting for it because you have a higher purpose. You are assembling people. You are um, you know bringing balance into this world because you have been flexible. Okay. You have the feet on the ground. That's what I'm saying. But at the same time, you're very, very um, high vibe. They put in the way. Inner peace. Abundance. More abundance. More abundance. You're manifesting abundance. For me, the bamboo, I mean, I remember Sal, which is what he explained, that video. And I also, for me, the fish are abundance. True, true abundance. Inner peace. Yes. Because imagine that you have a, let's say, imagine that you have a spiritual business. Okay? Imagine. Okay? And, um, and some of you is kind of, you know, okay, but, uh, I'm doing all this work, this, uh, you know, spiritual work, but it's not giving me the money. Okay. This is a reading that that blessing, the focus on the high, on the higher uh, purpose, etc., will give you the money, the bless, the manifestation, the groundedness, etc., etc. And that gives you inner peace. And this is necessary. So the world, the universe is conspiring for you to have this. Because it's necessary for balance, okay? And it's necessary for your inner peace. <laughs> That's so beautiful. <laughs> what energy, what blessing in terms of energy? Wow, communication. Number five. Your communication, your other blessing is your communication is getting really sharp. Okay, very sharp. Spot on. No wonder you are becoming the leader because your communication is highlighted. The power of communication is highlighted. The frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outcoming, through our heart. The heart, the green here. Green. Through our heart. A center of our truth to stay in the flow of source and balance exchange. Again, balance exchange. You're achieving this balance. And here, for me, this card goes here because it's about achieving this balance, the leadership, communicating clearer your, 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 your goals, grounding the goals. And the last one in this, uh, in this series, series is perception. Wow, that's about flexibility. Oh my God, this is very connected. Flexibility and perception. <clears throat> okay, the frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone. Yes, beyond your comfort zone. If you're flexible, you will walk this uh, bamboo path, okay, without knowing what is at, at, the, at, the, at the end. You see what I mean? So moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edge of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. This is the curiosity that propels you forward. This is a curiosity that will will unlock, okay? Will unlock you moving beyond what you know you are uh, beyond you to go, you know, into different things. Example, you extend your services. You do slightly something different here, slightly something different here. You are ready to be flexible. Because you're more balanced, because you take your, your mission as a bigger purpose, and because you are grounding your mission to get inner peace. Okay? And the inner peace is good for you and it's good for everyone else. Okay. And communication, I mean, this is beautiful. Okay. We're going to put the tarot now. What else we can know about this big thing? I'm shifting, sorry, you cannot see in the camera because these are too big. 
Okay. I cannot look. I cannot even grab them. They're so so big. Okay. So let's see. I will put it on top because I don't have a space. Okay. The, hello. This is the end of the story of Eden. This one wants to go this way. <laughs> okay, five cars. Okay, what is this blessing about? about oh my God, I'm telling you. This wanted to be at the beginning. I, I, and this is freaking crazy, no? Hmm? She wanted to be at the beginning because it's the end. The end. The moon. The cycle. You know? Whatever was a hardship is ending. Okay? Next, advice. new beginning, and it's about fire. Look at that, the sage of flames. The sage of flames is the page of uh, wands. This is about you igniting your passion again, you manifesting your desires. Also, you burning what doesn't serve you, focusing on things that really, really, um, you know, you're ready for the fight. You're ready for your doing your passion. You're ready for assembly this. You're ready to. You are manifesting this um ground you are grounding again you're grounding your desires look at and she's grounded no look at this she has multiple hands too the same as this guy okay so she, she is a girl as well she has multiple hands you have multiple hands you're doing multiple things we know that you have multiple talent we know that uh, what are you doing? What is the blessing? You're grounding them to manifest abundance. Four of cups. Ah, she's beautiful. Eh? <laughs> you know, you always look up. That's what I'm getting because obviously you're in a star seed, no? So you always look up. You have multiple intuition here in the eyes that are there. You always look up. Let me tell you, now you need to look at this uh, in front. That's the message from this card. Stop looking up, look in front. Because you are grounding. Okay? That's the next step in your evolution. Don't look up, look down. Yes! <laughs> Not down, look at the same height of your eyes. Yes, because the money is in front of you. And the new beginning is in front of you. The business opportunity is in front of you. Ace of crystal. New, new beginning okay F no what i said here the bamboos the fish abundance material abundance you're manifesting abundance from a 10 to a one you know a cycle amazing and the seven of flames oh my god i love it <laughs> i love the seven of flame you know what because it's you no freaking care about what's going on down. <laughs> I mean, for me, this is a person, hey, I'm in the spotlight. I can, I can take everything that comes to me. Okay? You can take everything. Why? Because your abundance makes you very solid, like this crystal. It makes you solid rock. It makes you grounded. So whatever is going on, whatever challenge will come, you will grab it with your hands and you will put it up and you will turn into your benefit flexibility and perception the challenge that come your way you turn them into your own dance and i get the good response wow that was crazy last two cars okay regarding timing and i said that i was going to do 10 minutes each this is 18 minutes this is crazy i mean i love talk <laughs> okay the next two cars is about uh timing if we can. How seven. Ooh, beautiful. Profound relationships, intim intimacy and romantic partnerships. Yes, the house seven is about partnerships. You are partnering for me here. This is a confirmation here that this, uh, you will be in amazing partnership. You will find relationships and connection that will support your work, will support this new beginning, will help you to remain stronger. You are finding the, the tribe. That's there. Doesn't say anything about timing. Well, seven. Let's say July. The month seven. That's what I'm getting. We had two sevens here. So, um, potentially, July. The South Node. Destiny to release. Oh, my God. This is something. Yeah, this is a confirmation. Well, these two cards will go here. This is a confirmation that you have to let go 
okay? The south node is destined to release. Whatever doesn't serve you, release, okay? Release. And I know it's easy to say, hard to do, okay? But um, if a cup is full, nothing can go in, okay? So you have to empty the cup to get the new. And for me, this is a new beginning. As I said, this is a grounding of your talent. This is a grounding of your ideas. About being flexible, about changing your perception, you are manifesting your safety, your security, and your abundance. And that's a change from a position of lack or maybe nothing going on to a great partnerships, amazing abundance, and new beginnings. You able to handle whatever. We have a tiger here. We have she carry the flame. Who cares? I'm not going to get burned. And um, and that is about inner peace at the end. And it's about balance. It's a, it's a, um, and also we have four, eh? Because this is the starting right now. We have two fours, uh, two fours and two sevens. Between the month four, which is April, which is right now. Uh, sorry, we're talking about this is the fifth, fifth, but I'm doing the video a little bit earlier. So this is happening or started in April, going towards July. Okay? This is what is coming to you. And I see for some of you partners, eh? A, a romantic partners helping you and for others, you know, the tribe. Okay. And with that, I will end the read here. Uh, hope this helped. Hope this, you know, uh, you know, clarify what blessing is coming your way after this shift. Okay. And uh, if you like my content, please consider subscribe. Please follow me on Patreon if you want to support my craft. If you feel like personal... Uh, consider a donation as well if you um want a personal reading all my details are below thank you again to kino for uh, collaborating with me on this fantastic day and it's and this great topic and uh, ring the put the notification bell okay please <laughs> namaste have an amazing day hello talented souls hope you're doing amazing Okay, if you have chosen my favorite stone, the lapis lazuli, I have a here. I love lapis lazuli. It's very Egyptian. Okay, for me it's like um, Egyptian stone. I don't know what. I get that. <laughs> these are your cards. Okay, so we are going to have all of this oracle. I will explain in a moment. And you have chosen this uh, tarot deck, which is the witches, the witches, the witches wisdom tarot. It's beautiful. Okay, it match your stone. Look at the navy blue. Match your stone. Mm. You are a person with deep, very deep feelings. You you love deep, you know? You love deep. This will be the end. This is the blessing. The energy of the blessing, the destiny of the blessing, uh, and more about the energy of the blessing. Okay. So let's kick off. You, you love deep. Everything. Okay. Shiva. Oh, I love Shiva. Yeah, you love deep, like Shiva. You know what Shiva did to achieve awakening? He, he went into this mountain uh, without contact with anyone, probably survived starvation, survived everything, just to receive, uh, I mean, to an extreme, extreme, extreme... Um, uh, Trump, uh, I mean, extreme conditions, you know, to achieve awakening. And after he did that, he started to teach everyone. So you are as deep as Shiva when you commit into something. So the blessing that is coming to you is that you are becoming awakening. You are becoming a bigger teacher. You're becoming a bigger soul. You're becoming, not that you're not a big soul, but you're becoming a, a, aware of who you truly are. Aware that your um, Ah, I'm getting the Usa spawn. It's like you are coming into a higher level of awakening, and that's the blessing. Because you can teach others about that. You can teach others about... You can enlighten others. It's like you have been a great student, now you are becoming an amazing teacher. This is a confirmation that your blessing is, hey, you have achieved the lesson, you have achieved the master, you have achieved the career degree, you have achieved 
the knowledge. Okay? Now is your time to pass it on. That's what I'm getting with Shiva. <laughs> and you went very deep to achieve this. I mean, you went every way, every possible way. You went and you did everything to achieve this. And this is the confirmation that uh, you are awakened. Yes, it's there. It won't go. It will uh, remain there. That's what I'm getting. Wow, more blue. I'm telling you. You're becoming a teacher. You're becoming, uh, you're becoming, uh, also these are all the chakras, you're becoming an illuminated, uh, you irradiate a higher frequency of love right now. You irradiate a higher frequency of, uh, of, um, well, or love equal light for me. For me, love equals light. It's the same concept. So you are irradiating light. You're becoming a great teacher, I'm telling you. And potentially you are teaching yoga, no? Or you are, I mean, something related to, um, to therapy, you know? Physical therapy, psychological therapy. Uh, that for some of you and for others, it's about, it's a higher level of awakening. That's that's how I can describe it. And you have gone really, really deep to achieve this. Okay? And I want to say, and I want to read very quickly which, which these two, you know, the key message of these two cards, because uh, this is a very beautiful, look at this, so beautiful. It's very beautiful, and obviously I cannot know every every entity to put it away. Deity. Deity is the key word, sorry. <laughs> India, if you're from India, you will hate me. <laughs> No, you won't hear. You will love me that I'm saying this in this way. The God of destruction and rebirth. Yes, you're you're being reborn. Reborn with a new knowledge. Awaken. Okay? And Shiva, it represents doing the inner work to evolve. That's exactly what I'm saying. It is also a call to service, to teach others your wisdom. So they too can become liberated. This is exactly what you're doing. You are becoming the teacher. To illuminate others. I mean, this is so freaking amazing. Oh my God. Boy, I'm getting the goose spoon. I want to know you, no? So please comment. Uh, Samandi. Let's see Samandi. 77. Look. Spiritual number, no? 77. Wow. It's a spiritual number. The eighth stage of yoga. Advanced state of meditation and abs absorption in the self. Uh, have you noticed the sign of a spiritual progress? Your daily practice has brought you to a place of stillness and is there where you experience Samandhi, the joining of all aspects of your being, physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional. It's the deepest level of awareness when you experience supreme bliss. Shiva experienced supreme bliss because you went in to then go out. Okay? Celebrate the reunion of your soul and spirit for you are the microcosmos of the macrocosmos. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? That's the blessing of this shift. I'm getting a lot of eyes of transformation in all of these piles so far. Okay, this is crazy. This is so beautiful. And we can say that because this become the teacher, okay, this will go in this order, okay? from your inner world. I mean, it's connected, honestly, because this is going towards others. But anyway, this is so beautiful. Okay. Broken heart. You will help. You will help people because you feel so deep, as I said. You are very deep. You love deep. You love deep. You cannot... You're here to... To, to to help people, like uh, take care of the broken heart. That's what I'm getting. You are going to heal broken heart. As I'm saying, maybe you're a therapist or something around that. You are you are healing broken heart. And the garden and the gate. This is beautiful. This is the garden and the gate. Is you are uh, so abundant, but this is a call to get out and teach others about how abundant you are. Okay. That's your mission. Your mission is your teach and your heal this heart. And you are so abundant because you, you are abundant. I mean, you don't need anything else. That's what I'm getting. You don't need much else. Okay. 
you are the embodiment of love, the embodiment of light. So now it's an invitation to go out because there are many broken hearts that you will help. Amazing. Discernment, yes. You understand very clearly. Again, deep blue and yellow, no? You understand very clearly what is truth and what is not truth. The frequency on the discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom. This is what you do for this. You have the discernment about, that's why you will help so many people. You have the discernment about what is, and you can detach and bring wisdom to this broken heart. You know what I mean? So it's like um, a nine and two is 11. So this is kind of the mission, you know? So for me, it's about allowing these people with your inner knowing to understand that you, we can always find peace besides the external condition. We can always find love beside the external condition. We can always find joy if we go inside, if we look inside, because that's, that's the mastering that you have achieved. You allow people to see this. You allow people to see themselves as light. You allow people to see the same as an inner balance. Okay? And compassion, a lot of compassion, deep, deep love, higher levels of love. Cosmic flower, yeah, you are the cosmic flower. You bring love. And another nine, look at this. This is all connected with this broken heart. Okay? So the frequency of cosmic flower activates our rem remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence into the world. You will make people heal. You will heal people. 100%. Because you make, uh, you allow them to see very clearly, uh, you know, the beauty that is inside. The balance that is inside. Okay? And this is the call to, hey, you are very abundant. And this is a call to do it. Okay? Because you will be amazing at doing this. It will give you so much joy. So much joy. Of course, you will bring miracles into this world. Miracles for these broken hearts. Miracle. It's a double rainbow. Expect an amazing surprise. A surprise that will, um, will blow your mind. Expect. For me, this is the positive tower. Okay? <laughs> this is a card that represents the positive tower. Expect abundance in any any way because you are abundant inside for me this is kind of the other reflection on the outside okay the miracles miracles and trust <laughs> this is so beautiful well you find you may be near water okay or you contemplate a lot about around water you meditate with water a lot this is trust trust that this miracle let's put it away Trust that this miracle, that this amazing awakened teacher is with you. That's the blessing. The teacher is awakened. The healing of, the, of everyone, every people that you want to help is happening. And you are, understand, uh, 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 are achieving a higher level of understanding about this, the inner, the inner abundance. Let's put it away. Okay. Let's see what the title want to say. About this blessing. Five cards, of course. <laughs> Clarity. Awakening. This is the ace of air, is the ace of source. New beginning, new truth. The blessing is that you have the wisdom. You have the truth. You follow your truth. You follow your right track, the right path. The, the path that uh, is the path that you meant to, to be. I mean, the path that you meant to be. You are singing a song for others. You are awakening others. It's like sitting here, you know, it's like a, this is an ant, no? Building the networks. There is a star there. This is a feeling of you weaving, weaving success, I'm getting, weaving Awakening to others, weaving. It's like a, a song that comes from the, from, from the past, okay? A song that comes from, uh, you know, inner wisdom. <laughs> because these are bones. This is about inner. Where are the bones? Inside the body. Inner wisdom. 
inner wisdom transforming you, awakening the teacher again, and you singing this song for everyone else. Wow. Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful. Messenger of air. There will be a lot. I mean, this is you. This is the messenger is the is the page, the page of air. The truth. And you will have, you will be reborn, let's put it that way. You will reborn as, I mean, this is so compassionate person. Look at this. He's trying to help a bird. He's trying to fly with this bird. Oh my God. You're bringing others with you. Okay. And I'm getting a lot of, uh, because there is a girl here and there is a boy here. I'm getting maybe that a lot of your work is with younger people. Okay. And also I'm getting that this is a mission that you knew from w when you were a child. Around 10 years old. There is a key on her neckle, on her knuckles. You know, okay. You have this key since you were 10, 12 years old. For some of you, some of you, I mean that I'm getting that. Okay. Next five of air. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a father. This five of uh, five of swords. The fire. Okay. Listen, it is a rainy day. It is a cold day. The father is looking, looking at w when I'm going to catch the food. The mom is protecting the birds. Okay. This is a lot about healing the wounds from your childhood. Okay. That's why uh, we have a, a girl here. You dream when you were a child, healing the wounds when you were a child. You grew up in an environment, very protective environment, very difficult environment. That's also why you understand a broken heart because there will be, there, there was in your uh, childhood a lot of broken things. Okay. But, um, you were always protected, you know? You never, you never have luck. You never feel luck. Because here is, is an abandoned girl in an abandoned garden. Beside the raining, beside the drops, beside the, the, the discouragement, you always were protected. And that's, the, that's something that you know very deeply because you, you have lived that. And that's why you're helping others. And that's why I connect with the young kids. Because I'm thinking that you're helping these young people to believe to understand themselves better, to go into inside. And maybe you're doing this, this blessing just with your own kids, you know, for some of you. And for others, this is about, um, exter I mean, helping others, no? Eight of waters. Ah, oh, again, more family, more community, more, more of those vibes. Eight of water is about walking away. You have learned this awakening, and this is the process, you are teaching others to walk away with that doesn't serve you. You are leading others towards a better, better day. <laughs> okay, and the last one is, yeah, I'm telling you, six of air. You are leading people, you are leading broken hearts, you are leading sadness, you are leading maybe feelings of insecurity. You are bringing inner truth about the inner value and the inner wealth that we all have. And you're helping these young kids or helping this family or helping your own family to move into a direction of peace, into a direction of abundance, inner abundance. Okay? Inner abundance. And as you know, what is inside is outside. What we are inside will reflect outside. That's why she look at the outside because she's going to she's going to go. And miracles. Trust in a miracle. Trust that you have the power to make a business and to make, to no, not make a business. Trust that you have the power to manifest abundance while you f fulfill your sole purpose. Okay. And they asked me to show you the button, which is the goddess of fire. Yes. The goddess of fire is the queen of wands. Follow your heart, follow your passion. Okay. You may be cooking outside. You may not have the best kitchen. You may not have the best environment, but you are powerful. You are happy where you are. You are manifesting your dreams. You are a goddess, okay? And you will help to bring food to many others. You see what I mean? You will bring food to many others. You will bring 
safety to many others. You will take them into the right path. And I'm getting a lot of young people. And you will protect and go into better better places. Not for you, for, for many. Okay. The blessing in terms of timing, if a spirit wants to tell us about timing. Pluto. Pluto is transformation. This is not time. This is about the transformation that you are manifesting. This is a confirmation. You are transforming this. And transforming others. An opposition, imbalance, a point of tension, a power, a power struggle. You will have opposition. Of course, you will have... I mean, this is a very painful car. Okay? But what I'm getting from here is that you have the discernment you you have the power of uh, you know understand the inner value okay you're too solid you're too solid you will help them and you will help yourself because you already are awakened to uh front the 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 rainy day okay with with the sun with the sun energy because for me this is a very it's a position but the color is amazing no so this is also red this is yellow, you know. You're bringing them, you're bringing people, because you have already uh, done this within you, to a level of warm um, love, inner value. That's the key one. And also the garden, you know, the garden is very abundant. Okay. Okay. This is a blessing of all about inner, inner wisdom. Okay, and how that inner wisdom not only will help, is already uh, helping you because you are going to embark into a new adventure, the new adventure, bringing your truth, bring your inner truth. But the beautiful thing of this is that you are able to bring the understanding of how you achieve inner truth for others to do the same. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, and I'm going to end the reading here. If you like my readings, um, and thank you, Kino, again for letting me work with you. Of course, it's a pleasure to be with you. And if you like my reading, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, check on my Patreon, personal reading, check on the on the box below as well. And if you feel it personal, consider a donation. If you like uh, my other channel, you can check also on TikTok. I do daily readings. And thank you, thank you, thank you. It is a pleasure um, to, you know, to be connected with you until the next time. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number three and this beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> you know, I mean, it reminds me to the clouds, no? The clouds. This is beautiful. Okay. You're flying high. You're flying high. That's what I'm getting. Okay, this will be your rhythm. We have all these oracles, cards. This is your tarot deck, which I haven't used in ages. Okay, and it's my first tarot deck. No, second tarot deck. Is the angels, uh, Dorian Virtue. How is it called? Uh, yes, the angel tarot cards. Beautiful. I haven't used it probably in a year. I mean, to be honest. They're very fresh. <laughs> this will be your reading. So what lesson will come from from this shift? If you can see in Kino... Ta, Kino you can either way. Either way uh, me first or her first. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, what blessings will come from this shift? So these are the two cards that will talk about the blessings. This will leave it at the end for timing. This is the energy. This is the destiny. And this is more about the energy. The blessings, well, energy blessings. Okay, so what blessings will come from this shift to you? Oh wow! First time I see this card. Look at this. Okay. Wow! This is called Dumabati. It's like the car the chariot, no? It reminds me of the chariot. So you are moving forward. You're moving forward. It's like you are taking your past because she put the hand to the right and for me the right is the past. But okay, but I don't know which direction is going. It's kind of, you know, like a 
the direction is interesting here. I'm not sure which direction, but honestly, this is about taking the past into the future. It's embracing what happened to you. And this looks like an like a like a more mature person. So my my view is that uh, you are carrying forward. You're carrying forward to not right now. Uh, everything that you are towards a new beginning. It's like this 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 moment this moment this direction that you're going to. Is a direction that you will, um, let's say, that will take you very far. Will take will take you into your older age. This is a long term commitment, okay? And now let's put the other and then we read it. Oh wow, Sita, this is beautiful. This is like a goddess of uh, of love, okay? So you're blessed. You will be abandoned. You will be very, very rich, okay? So you're manifesting abundance. So the change that you're doing, the shift that is going, the blessing is there is an abundance that will carry you till the end of your life, okay? Well, and I believe, you know, something end and something beginning, you know, I believe in, in, uh, in, um, I believe in reincarnation, of course. I believe in living forever, no? So uh, it's a transmutation. That's it. But this is... Um, you're accomplishing accomplishing abundance. In love, in, uh, you know, in rewards for your talent, reward for your creativity. And the funny... I mean, what is interesting is that it's like your old soul is carrying you from a previous life into this life, this is very spiritual, from a previous life into this life, and you are going to carry this blessing till the end of your days, okay? So this is a long-lasting change. That's what I'm trying to tell. Long-lasting change. Wow. This this one is 11, 11, 11, 11. Okay? 11, uh, 111. <laughs> 11, 11, 11. <laughs> this for me is important. This is this is this is human to to experience this abundance in this lifetime, okay? It coming from a previous life. That's what I'm getting. It comes from a previous life. You're accomplishing here right now. Ble the blessing is that is the completion of a mission that you carry from the past. Yes, look, this is the goddess of disappointment and let it go. What are you going to let it go? No, for me it's not letting go. For me it's bringing in. You, my darling, have finalized it. Yes, you're finally, re you're, you're realizing that all the hardship and struggle you have faced were brought on your path for a very important reason. They have swapped you to be the person you are today. Yes, this abandoned person. You have put together the dot on all of the most difficult points of your journey and realized that it was necessary to be here. Now. Tumabati has come to remind you to give thanks to the struggle you have faced. They have made you your higher self. This is so freaking amazing. I was, I was, I was, I mean, this is a spirit giving me the right information. You are embracing all the hardship, maybe from a previous lifetime, from this lifetime, and you are moving like a carrier forward to the, to this manifestation, which is about being abandoned, manifesting your talent, manifesting your abilities. And, here you put the hand that way to the past. Thank you, past. And here you put the hand here, which is, again, is the left hand, is the hand of the past. Okay? So it is very important. You, this is the right hand. Mm, it's the left hand. Well, supposedly it's the right hand, but she's trying to grab the past. And here is like, thank you, past, for making me who I am. Okay? And Sita, this is Sita. 109, also it's a 10, a completion. 109, okay. Goddess of devotion and loyalty. Mm. You have devoted your entire self to a person or a project and your loyalty cannot be questioned. Even in the fa face of harsh treatment, you have endured in the name of love. 
Sita remained loyal to her husband Ram, despite being told he was dead. And when another king wanted to marry her, even when another king wanted to marry, her, when her husband returned, he did not believe her fidelity. She said, "I'm telling you the truth. I will jump into this fire and will not be burned." She stepped into the fire untouched, proving that she was indeed loyal. Sita understands how much you truly care about the sacrifice you have made. You have displayed selfless devotion, which is one of the most holy things you, we can do. In serving those you love, you serve the divine. It's amazing. The message. Oh, this is it. Uh, the message here is that uh, by being loyal to your passion, to your talent, to the things that you love, for me, you're becoming abundant. But let's see. Let's see more. A storm warning. Oh, wow. Completion. Look, a storm next to this. You haven't, you have survived it. Let's put it away. You have survived it. You have passed a bigger storm. Okay? You have, you are letting, you are letting, you are letting, sorry, is Siri all the time talking to me? You are letting, I'm going to turn it off. One second. It bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> That's done. Okay. Uh, you're letting go. You need to let go of the past. You need to let go of the, sex, the hard experience. But that hard experience are making you who you are today. Okay. Okay. You are embracing, embracing, uh, you know, for me, the thinking man is uh, someone that can create diamonds out of dust. Why? Because he has a very big, 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 big brain power. Okay. The power of the ideas, the power of the mind. Your mind is very healthy, your mind is very strong, and you're coming out of a very harsh past into a very bright future. And this is a number 10, and this is a number 10, this is 111, and this is 19, which is a 10. You see what I mean? This is really, really big blessing. This is a very big, big moment for you. 10, 1, 1, 1, 1, sorry, 10 and 10. So, and you understand that this is all part of life, you know? You, are, you have been loyal to who you are, and that will give you some diamonds. <laughs> wow! It couldn't be more perfect. The solar plexus chakra, look at that. Look at that. You not only have the, the mind and the, the strength in the mind. I see you, you're very powerful mentally. I mean, like someone very, very clear about your ideas. But you also have passion, you know. You also trust your gut. This is the, the second brain, you know. The solar plexus for me is the second brain. It's the brain of the intuition. It's the second brain. You have both because this is feminine. And for me, this is more like feminine. And this is like a masculine. It's like a, I don't know. I'm getting that feeling. It's a man, no? So the masculine and the feminine side. You are in perfect balance. Your solar plexus chakra is very highlighted right now. That means that you are creating abundance, okay? The hard time is over. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, support your sense of self, our personal power, our willpower, as well as knowing who we are and what, and what our contribution is to the whole. This is what I'm telling you. Thank you, past. This is me. I'm loyal to myself. I'm loyal to what I can create. And I'm manifesting amazing things. <gasps> wow, passion. Look at that. I'm, I must to say that for some of you, the blessing is someone coming also, I mean, to your life with a lot of passion because this is under a man. And, and for me, you are this. Either way, someone is coming as well. But the main thing here is because I always focus on talent and, uh, you know, if you're new to my channel, this is what I focus. You're reigniting your passion. Reigniting your passion. Your passion, your solar, your intuition is very high. You are manifesting a lot, lot of um, extra energy. I mean, that energy has taken you out of this storm, okay? Um, and uh, the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the, hide, the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It, as, it assists us to finding the balance between this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm, where we can let go. No, sorry, I mean, we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill 
uh, us up. Yes, this is this is your, your blessing. Your blessing is you have proved yourself that if you remain true to your passion, true to your talent, true to your mind, to your thinking process, true to your balance between feminine and masculine, true to, to who you are, you are becoming abundant. Okay? Abundant because this is an idea that transforms again dust into diamonds. Okay, destiny. The truth. Oh, wow. Yeah, the truth. The truth is that no matter how how dangerous is that storm, how horrible is that wind, no matter what's going on around you, you are solid, planted in your truth. And this is a car that is about a tree that is one of the oldest trees in the whole planet. Okay? This is a tree that is one of the oldest in this planet. And this person is old. So this is a truth that you carry with you from previous lifetime, as I said, and it's a truth that you will carry for the rest of your life. And it's a truth that will prove you to remain loyal, to remain ro loyal to who you truly are. Is that That's the blessing. It's no knowing that by doing so, you become abundant. Diamond. You know what I mean? Of course. Look at this. Sunflower. You have so, so, sunflowers are the, it's like a sun card, purification. You need rain as well. <laughs> so the sunflower needs the sun and needs the rain. Okay. Uh, you are, you are, you are like, um, you are achieving, well, for me, the sunflowers is abundance. You are achieving so much abundance and no matter the wind, no matter the rain, no matter the storm, this passion, this commitment to who you are, this brain power that you have, it will make you really, really shine. Wow, this is beautiful. Congratulations for loyalty to yourself. <laughs> okay, we're going to put five cards here. And they asked me to show you the bottom page of air. Yes, you have air in your chart, most probably. Logical, honest, impulsive, curious. And what this air, 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 uh, fairy mm -hmm. carries is the solar, pre the passion, no? The solar presses, the solar presses. Okay, so maybe yellow. I, I will really recommend for you to have yellow around you. Yellow candles, yellow, um, yellow candles, yellow. Yellow bedding, <laughs> yellow clothes, anything yellow. Okay, that's your color. Six of water. Wow, coming from the past. You are going to get all the support. You're going to get the support. So the people that were, were really meant to be in your journey to support you to manifest this abundance, these people is coming to help you. Okay. And they're coming with a lot of love, with a lot of, um, you know, with a lot of uh, support. Also, if you have children, okay, you are going to teach them. This is a special message. You're going to teach them something so valuable by doing this. You're going to, they're going to believe in, um, in their passions, their talents. They're going to believe far more in who they are by you doing this. Okay, and I know it was difficult because you have to leave behind a lot of craziness, craziness, okay, and harsh environment, but that strength is, uh, it makes you shine, it makes you who you are. Oh, wow, the high priestess, yes, no wonder. Okay, look, another yellow card. Wow, your solar plexus charge, you're so creative, you're so, so creative. You are the sun. You are the sun for you and for many people. Okay, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider careful what you want before acting. Yeah, you, you have the ability to be calm, to think about it. You, you are really, really in this high priestess mode. You know what happened. You know what's coming. You understand the past. You foresee the future. Mm? That's your talent as well. King of fire, yes. This is you manifesting your dreams. 
you you for me you are obviously you are a, or either you're a female or a male you have the very strong masculine side okay in the sense that you are an uh, an action person you're an action person you just not sit there waiting for receive you go you go 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 for your dreams okay this is an encouragement we have keen a king, a king and a high priestess. This is your two sides, no? So your your intuitive side is your feminine side, and this is the masculine side is a, is a king. Ambitious, charismatic, focus, 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 communicate, communicate with, with uh, vision, be a leader, advice from someone creative. Also someone, again, some of you, you know, if there is a connection here, that could be the king of fire, um, the thinking man between fire and air. Hmm? And uh, perhaps you're doing this in partnership, okay? Partnership with your partner, with the father, the father of your kids, some of you, okay? Otherwise, it's you. I mean, you be super strong. Oh my god, the four of fire. This is partnership. This is family. This is like a solid, solid, solid ground. This is how abundant you are. You're manifesting honestly. If you are not, if if this is the father of your kids, or this, if you're waiting for someone to come into your life, this is a blessing, one hundred percent. This night kind of I want to be the father of your kids, want to be everything for you. Okay, that's the romantic side, but I'm going to focus on your talent. <laughs> okay, for your destiny, you are planting, you are planting an empire. That's what I'm getting. Literally, you are planting. You know, this is a dragon again. Yellow again. Your ability to convert dust into diamonds, or because you are the sun, you have the energy of the sun, you're warm, you're intelligent, you are protective, you are loyal, you are uh, intuitive, you have it all. You have it all. And you know what? Because you come from a previous lifetime or this lifetime where you understand that there are windy days, there are rainy days, there are storm days. And hey, you stay loyal to who you are. And that doesn't move you, you know? Content, peace, abundance, a happy home life, the successful competition, completion of a project. And the last one is a page of fire. These are your kids. I'm getting all the time, but this is an offer as well. New and exciting, uh, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your origin, originality and ingenuity. You have the power. You have the power to create th things from a thin air. New opportunities, new opportunities. Okay? Offers, propo proposals, etc., etc. And the last two cards? Air. Oh, your mind. This is a confirmation that your mind is super, super crazy accurate. Okay? So what your intuition is telling you and what your mind tells you are aligned. That's my point. Okay. open minded objectivity and learning. Yeah. You're very mind mind powerful and you have the passion so you have the two things okay and trying trying oh my god the trines in in the the trine in the hand and the trine in in the chart in the astrology chart is a is a representation of a lesson or a karma learn so if you have triangles in your uh, astrological chart you have accomplished, you have learned a lesson before. So in this lifetime, that lesson that you learned before, it will be easier. I have like um, three triangles, three, I think I have three uh, triangles uh, in my chart, which is very, very unusual. Maybe you have also a three, but the idea is like uh, angelic support, harmony, all in perfect flow. The thing is that uh, this lesson if for some people will be very hard, for you will be easy. No easy in the sense that it's not hard and it's not bad. No, no bad. Th no uh, bad things happen always, but is your inner power is far far more stronger, and the lesson is learned faster. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That the truth, the purification, the rain, the wind, the storm, this person becoming old, letting go of the past, you are able to move forward with your inner power, with your um, intuition, with your main uh, brain power, building an empire, building something so solid, getting opportunities to be even more creative as you are, becoming a king, you know, supporting your kids, supporting your family, supporting people that come in to you because they, they know that you're very abundant. You're becoming this loyal, loyal, abundant person. And the trying for me is a very lucky sound. Okay. And air, of course, is the brain power. Okay. 
and we have a page of air here. So a lot of air in your chart, okay, most probably, and fire. Air and fire. But it could be anything, no? I mean, don't, don't get stuck by that. But uh, listen, you are passionate, you are intelligent, you have it all. And you have learned lessons before. <laughs> And with that, I hope this, that's why this has a cloud, you know, it's, it's, it's a sunny day and it's a cloudy day. <laughs> okay, saying that, I love it. I love your reading. Thank you so much for watching. I thank you, your guys, my guys. If you want personal readings, uh, all my details are below. Uh, please support my channel on Patreon as well. If uh, as soon as we are 10, I'm going to start doing lives there. Uh, TikTok, if you fancy, you know, more daily readings. And thank you to Kino for letting me collaborate with her. I love Kino and I love you for being here if you come from Kino's channel. Uh, I would love for you to subscribe, ring the, the not notification bell. So my content is, is, you know, is move, move, move. And uh, with that, yes, I leave it there. Thank you so much. Uh, have an amazing day. Bye bye. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pine number four and this beautiful. It's kind of transparent, but you cannot see that much on the camera. Um, Leptolite or something like that is the name. Okay, it's beautiful. It's very smooth. Okay, so if you have chosen this one, you have a um, very smooth pass ahead. Okay, and this transition, this blessing is coming very so. I mean, very natural. No, no, a big, uh, no, no. No, in a dramatic way, in a smooth way. That's what I'm getting, okay? Yes, because the previous cars, uh, the, well, different stories. <laughs> okay, so this is your, uh, you have chosen this tarot deck, which is the, um, it's beautiful. It's all uh, hand painted by, um, and I have to find the name, but Silla Conwell. Silla Conwell is the Shimmering Bill Tarot. Uh, she's from England, but she lives in Italy. She's amazing, channeling, you know, beautiful art through tar uh, for tarot. Okay, so we are going to find out. And thank you so much for coming. If you're coming from Kinos, uh, great. If you are going to Kino after this, great. <laughs> anyway, so either way, what are the blessings that will come from your shift? This will answer the blessings. This will be for the end, some kind of timing. This is like uh, energy activation, destiny, and more energy cards. Okay, so we're going to put it away. This has been a very interesting topic. Uh, I was trying to do it very short, but at the end it's very long. <laughs> if 15 cards is a lot, a lot of information. Okay, let's go for it. Um, what is the blessing that come to you? Oh, I like it. Pratayahara. Pratahara. If you are uh, from India, sorry about how I pronounce this. Okay. Again, this is a smooth. This is expected. This is, this blessing is coming natural to you. Natural. You are already, you already feel blessed for everything that you have. Um, you feel blessed because you're content with yourself. You're happy within your own skin. You, um, you understand that blessings flow to you. So it's what belongs to you comes to you. That's, 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 that's your mentality. That's why it comes natural. And this is like a rain, but it's not rain. It's like sunlight in different colors. It's like a rainbow. So your blessing is coming naturally. Your blessing is, your blessing answer this question. No, your blessing answer this statement. What belongs to you finds you. Okay, and now I cannot tell what blessing it is right now. It could be many, many different things. What I can tell is that it comes naturally. Okay, and it's kind of a, a bliss. It's like a rainbow. It's like a lucky, lucky theme. But it comes, and you're expecting, and it's natural, natural progression from where you are to where you want to be. Next, Texas. Oh wow! Wow, you're very spiritual. Definitely, do you you do yoga or you do a lot of meditation? 
ok lot lot of meditation ok and um, honestly you know what I'm getting that your blessing is peace your blessing is balance your blessing is feel your own skin your blessing is um, be happy for every single day your blessing is being in tune with your um, with your throat chakra I'm getting a lot of throat chakra too so it's like you're in tune with your own truth in tune with, you, with how you communicate yourself to the world you feel like you are in your, in your own skin you feel like change is part of life so you, you I mean your blessing is an state of it's an state of calmness, okay? And that could sound simple, but it's not that simple to achieve balance, okay? So your blessing is balance. Very interesting. Okay, we're going to read because I'm reading these uh, these cards. So let's see what is the main message, each of them. Oi, I opened Texas. I opened Texas straight away. Okay, Texas. Subtle essence of intelligence and courage, radiant and glowing. Yes, you're radiant, you're glowing, you're in peace, you're in balance. Every day is a beautiful day, you know what I mean? That's the blessing. Your intellect and courage glister in your eyes. You have a radiant glow to you that reflects your passion within. You are on this planet for a reason and are deeply committed to your higher purpose. You carry a spark of energy that uplift those around you and are a natural born leader. Wow. You bring balance into this world, eh? Definitely you bring balance into this world. You're very, very balanced. As a warrior of love, you are committed to raising the vibration of this planet, even if it is a spark controversy. By being your highest self and committing to your truth, you, truth, yeah, this is the communication. That's the, that's the throat chakra. The truth comes through your voice or your communication. You encourage others to do the same. Continue sharing your spark with others who have lost theirs. Yeah, that's your mission. You're manifesting this mission of bringing balance into this world uh, because you are balanced. Oh, sorry, I forgot to read the other. Uh, you are balanced and you are very much in tune with who you are, who you want to be. No, no, who, yeah, who you are, who you want to be, who are you, I mean, everything. You are in total, total harmony. That's why this, uh, this manifestation of this blessing is natural to you. Okay. 71. Eight stages of yoga, control of the sense. Yeah, you are under control. That's what I'm telling. You are under control. Recently, you have got, you have let go some distractions in your life and everything has upgraded. I'm telling you. <gasps> wow. You have realized that holding onto things, food, the stimulant or people only keeps you untrue to the physical world. True lies in letting go of all that is not you. The daily coffee, the piece of chocolate, the social media addiction or the need to buy. Those were once such a part of your identity but have now diminished. This is the time to go deeper into Prakhara and let go any attachment, even those that are less obvious. Continue to meditate, which draws you immediately into Pratayara and illuminate what is what is in you. No, what it is you are holding on to. It is only from here that you can listen to the truth within and act accordingly. Yeah, you may be an environment. To be honest, I'm getting you. You may be an environmentalist okay you're someone that are very abundant okay you don't need anything you don't need anything else i mean we all need something but you are in a very stage of uh, being grateful okay with all you have with all you are with everything and you want to really promote this through this balance into the world illuminate others to do the same okay to release attachment to the things that do not serve us and I think coronavirus has played a major role in making us realize that we don't need those shoes, we don't need this extra, um, extra. Um, we don't need to dress up by fashion. You know what I mean? I, I, hate, I mean, I don't like the concept about dressing up because this is on fashion, it's on fashion. But I remember when I was fifteen, I was always dressing up by fashion. Okay, this is new. I need to wear. I need to have it. And okay, come on. When you get old, it's like who cares about that? No. 
But now coronavirus has made us realize, honestly, I haven't used any boots this year. So why am I going to get another boot? Hmm? The conscious consumer, no? Okay. Abundance, yes. You're manifesting abundance. The abundance that you have inside will reflect outside. Okay? You're manifesting abundance. The abundance that is inside, the balance that is inside, is reflected outside. What I said at the very beginning, what belongs to you, come to you. This is amazing. <gasps> wow! I love this one as well, together with this one. This is own openness. Full moon is completion. Okay, and here there are all these constellations, you know, it's like the star constellation. You are one with the universe. That's number one. You are an, a star. That's number two. Number three, you are intuitive as hell. Okay. Number four, you are very emotional being. Number five, you are completing a big step into your life. A big, big, big milestone. This milestone is about recognizing this richness inside, let it go, the attachment, shining from the inside, sharing this truth, helping others to realize the same, being a balanced being and being very happy to share this truth. Okay? Amazing. Well, what we are saying, the throat chakra, I'm telling you, your, your truth, you're communicating, you're using your communication as skills. Okay. Maybe you have a YouTube uh, channel, you have a blog, TikTok, um, blogs, you know, writing blogs, etc. You're communicating this. Okay? How to achieve balance. How to become better. What are the things that we don't need? What are, I mean, you are like an activist of well-being. <laughs> activist for well-being. Okay. The frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. You are balanced. I'm telling you, balance, balance, balance. Balance, open, abundance, inside. Aband Look, this is inside. This is outside. You're open to others. You're going to share. You're go this is blue. This is the same color as this. This is where we're going. This is where we are advancing. You are becoming really, really an ambassador of well-being. That's what I'm getting. And this one? Healing, yeah. You can heal people. You can heal people. Uh, number twenty nine is eleven. This is uh, this is kind of uh, your main uh, your main task. Okay, is uh, be a healer. You're a healer. Okay, the frequency of healing support our intrinsic ability to restore our health. Yes, you're very much uh, balanced and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. You're a healer. You're a, you know I mean you you can, you heal others i'm getting a lot through communication a lot through um you know your ideas about well-being i'm seeing someone some people of you will write books as well about this i'm seeing some of you doing yoga retreat i'm seeing some of you uh you know practicing reiki i see some of you just blogging about what means be in balance etc etc you are kind of sharing this truth into the world and that's make you abundant okay Ah, and here he comes, or she comes. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, this is someone coming to your life. There is someone that holds your heart. This makes you also very balanced. You're balanced in every single aspect of your life. Balance in love, balance inside, balance, balance with the universe. I mean, I'm getting a lot of balance with the universe. And there is someone coming. Of course, because I'm combining force with my dear Kino. And Kino is a master reader for love. I mean, no wonder we have some love here. <laughs> because normally when I do my readings, only, only myself. It's all about talent, all about things. But, you know, like here is the second time, you know, in other part as well, the love was coming, you know. And uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Man, there is someone coming to offer you love. Why? Because you are in this place, this beautiful place inside. So what belongs to you, come to you, and love come to you. Wow, wow, wow. This is a power couple, eh? Abundance. 
You have so much love that you are becoming such a great, amazing business. This is the business mind. This is how you can create a business out of this. This is you having an abundance. Look, abundance and the queen of uh, coin. You are getting so much, so much uh, abundance by doing this, you know, by putting your truth outside, helping others, um, creating a business out of this, a blogging, a YouTube channel again. It will give you a lot of abundance to share your your tips to be one with the universe. You know what I mean? Um, to be in balance, to be, uh, you know, to heal yourself. So this is amazing. You're completing this this mission. You are in a very powerful, your blessing is that you are in this balanced uh, situation that everything comes to you. The abundance, the love, the wars, the truth, the healing, all is coming, all is coming, all together at the same time. It's amazing. And money, of course. I mean, abundance in all, in every sense. Health, uh, you know, truth. I mean, like uh, mind, communication, etc. Love, money. For me, this is abundance in every way. Uh, intuition abundance as well. I'm getting star. You're becoming a star, eh? In what you do. Wow, this is a great blessing. Okay. Five cards. What the tarot is going to tell us about this? Okay. And they told me to show you the bottom. The seven of uh, swords. This is be this is be this is behind, no? Any fear is gone. That's the blessing. Any fear is gone because you are so 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 radiant for me. Okay. Yeah. The, the Ace of Cup. That's your new beginning. And it's blue. There is something that you communicate. I have to show this. There is something that you communicate that is healing. That is healing. Completely healing. Obviously, you are this such a balanced being. First, one of Cup is unconditional love. Okay, the love from the universe as well, because the stars are around the, the, the love from the universe. So whatever you're doing, put it out, because you are going to get so much unconditional love towards this, this talent, towards the thing that you're doing. You will receive unconditional love because you give unconditional love. My goodness me, the nine of cups. This is a celebration time. This is the wish fulfill. The nine of cups is the wish fulfill. You feel like a bliss. This is, this is abundance in every single aspect. That's your blessing. The abundance, the what belongs to you, because we're all abundant, okay? Our soul is very abundant. We are the universe. You are in a blissful moment where you realize this and everything comes to you. This is individual recognition. This is in one of the tarot decks that I love, which is the tarot, the tattoo tarot deck. It's, it's like a stage where you get all these people like giving you an applause. It's like you walking in the, in the, this is also a star card for me. So a lot of the things that you do has to be with, um, perhaps even with, uh, with acting for some of you, acting or putting yourself out there, you know? There is, there is, there is something here Imagine that if you're an actress and uh, you decide to do like um, you decide to become someone like um, yeah like uh, this oh, I forgot the name with 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 the patro no cómo se llama eh, with the patro the lady the I mean you know the actress that was married to that was I mean I, I don't know eh, that was married to the guy that is in the band of Coldplay. Okay, so that woman, that woman, she's an actress, but hey, she's a hell of a businesswoman. And her whole, her whole business is about a blogging, it's about um, a media, but she's so promote, she promotes so much, you know, the best products, the wealthy, uh, I mean, healthily well-being. I mean, Wilthne Patro, check on what she have done. That's the feeling, the vibe that I'm getting for you. An actress to something around well-being. Okay, Seven of Cups. 
Wow, how much emotions we have here? This is options, options, options. Okay, you're going to do all of them. You're going to be successful in all of them. Okay, for me is this: you do love, you do ma you you know you're an actress maybe, and you make a lot of money. Um, you are uh, creating this practice. You're going to be successful. You are going in. Uh, you're going to be successful. I mean, everything that you're touching for me is going to be successful because it's really charged by great communication skill, great brain, great balance, etc., etc. Next, oh my God, how many cups you're going to have? The four of cups. Oh wow. This is a very different Four of Cups. Okay. For me, this is the Four. This is a reminder because it's, it's in between here and here, you know, uh, coincidentally, it's between these two cards. It's about feeling abundance. It's the, the key, the key for this blessing is recognizing that you are abundant, okay? And the Four of the four of, of, uh, of uh, Cups for me is like... Um, if you don't feel that you are abundant where you are, you're, you, it's not right. You know what I mean? You are mega, mega, mega abundant. Okay? So what belongs to you, come to you. Okay? Be careful about, you know, any, any negative thought there, which I understand. Because when you get a lot, you want more, no? That's natural human behavior. Okay? You want more. For me, there is a point that you get it all and you have to be happy there. So when you become this queen of coins, be happy there. Remember all this process, okay? That's an advice. And the four of uh, the four of pentacles, yeah, two fours. This is uh, like um, four four. Uh, it's like a, an angel number, no? Okay. Uh, these are your. These are the fears that we'll always, you know. These are the fears that we all human have, no? Okay, and this coming to healing, no? You maybe think, okay, but I'm not going to make too much money maybe in, in a healing, um, I mean, doing healings, or maybe it's better if I keep going here. It's like the, the duality for me is the duality between emotion and um, emotion and, uh, and manifestation, no? So it's what I want, what I have, what I deserve, da, da, da. This is the conversation that you, you are healing, okay? And this is the this is who you're becoming. You're becoming someone that is very, very happy where you are. And if at the end, you know, you come and you have fears like everyone, okay? Remember, remember that, um, that uh, you know, remember that this is not who you are. Because who you are is this. You don't need, you know, you, yeah, like this car, no? You don't need a social media, and you don't need social media, you don't need those shoes, you don't, you don't need extra, extra um, um, sugar in your coffee. You know what I mean? You don't need these things. And that's the battle that you have won. And that's the battle that you will always be very much aware. And if you remove this shoe, from my point of view, although it's angelic and you're protected, that's what I'm getting. If you remove those two, look at all the things that you have. Unconditional love, abundance, the love, the communication skill, the walking in, walking in, um, in a, walking in a, like a, being recognized, publicly recognized, healing abilities, multitasking, etc., etc. Okay, so these are the two things that maybe in the past or maybe in the future will keep coming, okay? But because it's normal, okay? It's normal to have doubt, okay? But my view is that this is who you are and it will be very difficult to move you from this balanced position that you have already achieved or you're achieving. That's the blessing. Look, this is amazing. The other blessing is the sun. Self-express and embodiment of truth. Yes, because you are very, very abundant. You are the embody of truth we have here communication the truth um you are you're becoming very very abundant okay everything grows under the sun everything grows in your hands that's what i'm trying to tell you okay and then a scorpio is intensity exploding purging and rene renewing this is what you need to let behind what you need to change is any any thought that you don't have enough 
any thought that you don't have enough. And a Scorpio is a promise that something is going to be changed dramatically or purging, destroys, destroyed. Okay? And this is your reading. <laughs> Hope it helps, okay? Please, I mean, this is beautiful. Look, a couple, no? Together. Hmm? Uh, and your own own uh, talent, eh? Amazing talent. Um, with Ne Patro, okay? <laughs> and the other woman that is the same as with Ne Patro is like, uh, um, oh my God, Alba or Jessica Alba. That's the one. Another one that created product for well-being, health, etc., etc. Check on those two. That's why you're becoming. That's my gut feeling. That's my uh, my spirit telling me. Okay. Uh, what I was going to say. If you like my reading and you feel personal, consider a donation. Subscribe and please hit the notification bell so YouTube, you know, push my content. Also, um, check my pattern if you want uh, to be support my craft. Uh, and uh, if you want a personal reading, all the details are below. Thank you to Kino for letting me do this together. I love it. And uh, hope that you find this, you know, hope this help. And I wish you all the best. What you're doing is very important. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. Hello, talented souls. How are you? Hope you're doing amazing. Okay, last but not least, <laughs> my option number five. It is a five, 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 five reading. Of course, you're going to choose five. I will do the same. <laughs> Don't tell the others, no? Eh? <laughs> oh my God, you're happy, chappy. Anyway, you're someone very, very happy. Okay, you're very happy. You're doing this reading just to, you know, because you love Kino and you love me. Eh? Say it. <laughs> okay, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is bright. This is happiness. I don't know. You're manifesting. Your blessing is happiness. Okay. You have chosen this um, uh, this uh, piles and this tarot deck, which is my new. Ta it's a new tarot deck. I love it. And by the way, everything is blue here. All the ta all the cards that I pick it up it has a blue. Okay. This will leave it at the end. This is what is a blessing coming to you, okay? The energy, the destiny of this blessing, energy, more energy, okay? And let's see what's going on. I absolutely love this uh, this reading. It has been great. Okay. What blessings will come from this shift? Oh, my God. I love it. What a beautiful drawing, no? Eh? This is the sun, the planets. I mean, which planets are? Okay, this is Venus, Mercury, Venus, and Earth. Mercury, Venus, and Earth. Wow, interesting, no? There is an eye on a book here, and there is an eye on the other additional, uh, I would say the additional uh, solar systems. Okay. Definitely you're very, very intuitive, very, 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 very intuitive, okay? There is a, you know, you're very connected with your truth, okay? So for me, is the blessing is that you're learning something new. The blessing is there is a new truth revealed to you. That's why you are up here and you are up down here. The universe will bring you wisdom, a piece of knowledge that you didn't have before, okay? And for you, wisdom is important. Knowledge is important. Maybe you are someone that study a lot, read a lot of books. You you kind of all the time learning, okay? I'm getting that vibes, okay? And uh, the sun in the middle is like, uh, there is success in this. With this new knowledge, okay? It will bring you a lot of success. That's what I'm getting. Well, I'm going to read what this card means, but that's what I'm getting. And then, oh wow, this is so pretty. Oh wow, I really like this. More, more solar system, you know what I mean? More solar system, the moon and the sun and the cycles, okay? So for me, this is like, um, it, it looks for me like a two of cups, you know what I mean? So it's like, um, it's like union with yourself, 
Okay, for me, this is balance. This is union with yourself. It's a truth that will unlock, will unlock a new level of who you are. Okay? F emotional fulfillment as well. Very, very much. It's like you feel that like you have achieved a lot by learning this. Okay? And that knowledge will be put into... Uh, that knowledge fulfills you. I mean fulfill your 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 um, let's say your soul from wisdom and fulfill you emotionally that's what i'm getting like a two of cups okay uh, okay and of course because <laughs> i said this in the previous part because i'm connecting with i'm doing this in collaboration with kino and kino she's a master in uh, reading love love readings okay i don't do love readings Okay, so here we have a lot of love <laughs> because obviously we are cross, cross, uh, cross, cross. Um, we're crossing here, you know, the two, the, the two of us. No, so for me this is also a lot of you will will accomplish the blessing is a beautiful, beautiful partnership. Okay, beautiful, beautiful partnership, a soulmate, a twin flame, if you like it, that kind of thing. I'm getting that. But if you're not into that and you're from my child, <laughs> this is like a, a balance, you know, within yourself. Mm? A lot of balance with yourself. Okay, let's check on the let's check on the content because I mean I'm getting like crazy. Okay, this one is eighty nine. Okay, let's see what it's saying. Eighty nine. Self study. Yeah, I'm telling you, wisdom. <gasps> Self-study, yes. They know, you know, something that comes from the top and you look down and it's like an integration of knowledge. We we were each born with a book of infinite wisdom, stories, invention and emotion. This book is our own consciousness. If we take paths to truly study the self, we will never become bored with our findings. Instead of trying to acquire more information, try, try take the focus inward. There are a cosmos in your consciousness you have yet to venture into that have more beauty than and any artwork more mystery than your favorite thriller more magnificent than all earthly creation however the passport required to reach these vistas in is, is a stillness through withdrawing from external stimulus you can move into the true stimulus the wall inside and beyond you yes the universe is giving you a new chapter in your book a new wisdom in your soul, a new knowledge in your consciousness. It's giving you that. And with that, you achieve this, which is an amazing balance. Ah, oh, we have it here. Concentration and meditation with the intention to know the truth. Oh my God. Know the truth. Wow. It's all about, it's all about, all about a new knowledge, new truth. When was the last time you fully became immersed in what you were doing? Niñama is when the dancer becomes the dance, the singer becomes the song, the painter becomes the paint, the lover becomes the love. There is no difference between the doer and the deed. You merge as one, the two of cups. <laughs> you have pulled down a card to remind you that it's now time to transition from doing to embodying. Find that with which you can merge with and practice it fully. Become the words in your journal. Yes, the asana in your practice, the nature with which you surround yourself and notice your present expand. Yes, new emotional fulfillment, new wisdom, new oneness, oneness with yourself. New love in some cases. Becoming really fulfilled by a new level of consciousness, a new level of deep understanding of yourself. Sinking woman of course, books. I'm telling you, this is a library. Well, yes, she has books there. Your blessing is knowledge. Your blessing is a higher level of knowledge. And I mean, it could be literally knowledge. You're learning, you graduate, you finish your university, you finish something, a milestone, a very big milestone uh, in your career. Okay, when you're in your studies, okay, and for others it's a higher level of consciousness, okay, but it came like a blessing. It maybe you read it on a book, you listen to a podcast, you listen to something that came to you about 
that allow you to know yourself better. Okay? And when you know yourself better, you manifest better partnerships, better success. A contract. Books. More books. Yes. 100% some of you, no 100%, 50% of you, this is like uh, you got the degree, you got the pedigree. <laughs> no, I mean pedigree in a sense that you got a, like a, a new level of, uh, of knowledge and you're signing a new contract. You are a really, really, I mean, it's two meanings. For some of you, you finish, you, you are upgrading yourself educationally, okay? And that brings you a new contract. That's a blessing. Okay, some others of you, you are upgrading yourself, okay, internally, in your own wisdom, understanding better of yourself, and you get, you know, you get balance in relationships, you get balance in connections, you get better, get better connections, and because it's a six, always six remind me of uh, the six of cups, no, okay, but here is, it's a, it's a new, it's a new level, you are in a new level. You're in a new level. And most of you, it's about wisdom, about knowledge. It's about becoming emotionally fulfilled. And when you are in that, in that vibration, hey, I learn now, I'm ready, you get an offer. Hmm? Okay? Third eye chakra, another six, six, six. I love six because everything in the nature has a shape of a six. I don't know how to describe it, but I know that. <laughs> the third eye chakra, you have again... This is, again, the third eye chakra means knowledge that comes from above, from a higher consciousness, okay? And um, here we have physical consciousness, meaning books. You see what I mean? So the real, the real books, no? So it's a combination between both. It's an activation about, you know, learning something and also understanding something. Third eye chakra. The frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life, support our intuition and our inner knowing our imagination, our psychic, psychic powers. Yes, some of you, again, is a level of wisdom, a level of consciousness that is higher. Change. Well, yeah, new contract, a change. New partnerships, a change. It's, a, it's another a, a step on the, on the stairs. You know what I mean? You are going up. The frequency of change support our availability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both in one and hour, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. You're no longer who you were before. You're upgraded. Okay? Amazing. Opportunity. Wow! Yes! Yes, opportunities in both sense. Opportunity of a new job, opportunities of um, of a new uh, new business, opportunities of uh, new partnerships, new love. All is opportunity. And look at the colors, eh? The color is purple. Both very highly. This is highly. The this is highly. Uh, this is has the two sides of the story: the practical side and the and the let's say the consciousness, the spiritual side. That's an integration here, or both, okay? Illuminate, wow, illumination, guys. This is amazing. This, it cannot be more perfect. The thinking woman knows it all. This one is about higher consciousness, wisdom, inner knowledge, etc. okay? And we have the sun, for me, it's abundance. Here, it was about, you know, achieving a new level, again, of consciousness, of knowing, of balance, of, you know, integrating yourself, no? Your true self. A contract, new opportunities, opportunities, third eye chakra, you see this coming, change 100%, an illumination. This is your destiny with this uh, blessing, being an illuminating being. I mean, imagine that you are a lawyer, I'm getting the word lawyer here. Imagine that you're a lawyer or you're someone that really reads a lot, someone that really is really into books or into learning, into knowing. Okay, you are now integrating more your inner knowing, your connection with the divine, your connection with this, with the universal consciousness, and that integration between what you practically know and what you are receiving from above becomes you, make you an illu illuminated. Okay, make you integrated your two sides, make you sign a contract, achieve balance, new opportunities that really, really are meant for someone on a higher level which is you on a higher step of the ladder, okay? And um, 
you are you are you are illuminating you and illuminating everyone wow this is amazing i love it honestly i love it i see you like um in a new 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 that new that i mentioned i was going to say in a new upgraded that's the key word you are upgrade you're upgrading <laughs> okay what did Taro want to tell us okay about this blessing six of ones victory three six 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 and six new contract fair eye totally you see this coming and the six of one victory success abundance okay this contract is very very abundant it's a change but it's big big abundance okay the nine of wands uh, the nine of one is like uh well, this is a very weird nine of wands. The next one is uh, don't hold, don't hold, move forward. For me, this is the house is burning. This is burning. Go in the other direction. <laughs> <That's what I'm... laughs> there is no going back to the house. There is change. There is no going back to who you were before. No way, my king. There is no going back. If you fear that you need to go back to the house that is burning, no, fear nothing. You're becoming abundant. You're becoming successful. You're being illuminated. Great contract. Look at this. New beginning. Wow, yes. New beginning under opportunity. Contract. New, new beginning. Illumination. No, you're not going back to the house. You're not. You're being illuminated. You get a higher level of knowledge. Ba, pa pa pa. I'm getting that with you. Hi, priestess. You knew this coming. I'm telling you, sir, I. You knew this was coming. You just sit there with a book. And you know that this is coming. The book. <laughs> wisdom, my darling. Wisdom. Wisdom that make you not be the same person ever again. Okay? And I love it. Because it's very high vibe. Okay? And the last one is the five of ones. Well. <laughs> really change. Okay. These two cards is like you resisting to the change. You know, sometimes, yeah, people resist to change. Don't worry. I'm going to put it like this. The six of ones, they go here. Okay? Opportunity goes with the full. Illumination with the high priestess. Okay? Third chakra. Well, this is six, six, six. Okay. Okay. Let, well, let's leave it there. No, it doesn't matter. This is, hey, fear no competition. Fear no going back to the house. You don't need to fight with anyone else. This is a before and an after. Okay? This is your before and your after. Okay? Before you have to fight for, um, you know, for being recognized, fight for being listened, fight for being, uh, you know, fight for that, that uh, degree, fight for that contract, fight for, you know, saving your house, saving your, 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 um, uh, keeping your house, uh, safe, etc., etc. That's is where you're coming out. Okay. It's amazing. They told me to show you the button. Yeah. What I'm telling. Another six. This is divinely guided. Six contract. I told you that this one remind me of the six of um, uh, six of cups. I told you that before, no? So imagine six of cup, six of ones. Um, where is the other six? Okay. No. Where's the other six? I saw I have three six already. Okay, I don't know. My mistake. Crazy. I thought it was three six. Okay, well, so you have three six now. Six of cups, six of wands, six of swords. You're moving out of the house. You're moving out of this house burning, the old self. Okay, you're moving out from the competition because you are upgraded right now. You are a higher knowledge, you are educated, you're in a bigger position and you will be truly, truly, truly successful. Amazing. Amazing. Congratulations. About timing, you know, I always like to see about timing if uh, dream and transcend. Well, this is Neptune. Neptune is transform, is dream, is trans, is transcend, transcend, illumination. You're going to transcend. You're going to make a mark in this world. You're going to transcend. You're going to illuminate. Well, you're illuminating yourself and you will illuminate the world. Everyone that touch you. A union, a merging coming together, conjunction, 
This is the union with yourself, and in some cases, the union with someone else. In some cases, this is a true, true union of... This is amazing. You're going to be so, 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 you know. Again, but the union between what you know and higher knowing. Okay? And a new beginning, an opportunity, an illumination, a union coming together. Coming together. I'm getting a lot of coming together together. Okay? Like, um, well, here some couples, of course, but I'm also getting like you integrating two sides of yourself. Okay? That's what I'm getting. This is amazing. And the new beginning is guaranteed. We have a contract, the full. We have an opportunity. We have change. So you are moving out of this into a full victory with the six of wands, moving a better better territory with the six of swords, the contract. These two beautiful cards I talked about, um, about wisdom, about higher knowing, okay? And the fair eye. I mean, what else? Eh? And the thinking woman. What else? Eh? Amazing. And with that, I finished the reading here. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Thank you to Kino. I love Kino. Uh, thank you uh, for um, thank you for checking on my uh, on my Patreon. Thank you for checking on TikTok. If you want more daily readings, if you feel it personal, consider the donation. If you um, if you what I was going to say, if you like Marie, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. The notification bell is important so uh, my content gets uh, more promoted and it reach more people. That will be super helpful. And um, so you help me on my mission to ignite ignite the world. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure reading for you. Have an amazing day. Namaste.